Nutella is a choice. The 30% discount on top makes it even a better choice. But think about the choices in your life. That number, that's the number of choices you make in a single day. 35,000 choices. And that number, that's the number of seconds in a single day. 86,400 seconds. A choice of years is vanished into thin air on an average every two seconds. And who knows about these choices more than anybody else in this world? Marketing AI. <laughs> Protect your own choices. Protect your own choice. Otherwise, marketing AI will steal away all the choices from you. Now, what is marketing AI? The marketing advertisements and offers you see in Instagram, Facebook, Amazon, Google, are not coming from a person like me. That is generated smartly by marketing artificial intelligent bots, so-called marketing AI. You could say marketing AI, an empowering, yet a manipulative friend. Yes, it's a friend in need, wants to help you with your choices and recommendations. But at the same time, it also wants to influence you to get the better deal for, not for me, but for the seller. How does it work? Some of you might have read this book, Thinking Fast and Slow. In this book, I came to the realization that our choices are made of two important factors, familiarity and emotions. The other day, my friend Florian asked me, Ram, what's your favorite country? I gave the most logical, thoughtful answer an Indian can ever give. Switzerland. <laughs> and why Switzerland? When I think of Switzerland, I imagine my own honeymoon vacations. Walking those lush green meadows, tasting that delicious cheese and chocolate. And of course, the memories of Switzerland in Bollywood movies. Familiarity and emotions. The marketing AI does the same, but it goes one step beyond. The first step of a marketing AI is to gather information about you. It could be the smell of the grass, the taste of the cheese, or the charm of the honeymoon experience itself. The next step is using those information to create models of you. But not just models of you, models of similar people with similar preferences like my fellow Indian, Lao, Switzerland. And lastly, those imprinted information becomes the blueprint of your choices. A blueprint for me, Ram loves Switzerland. But the AI goes one step beyond, giving you choices and recommendations which you have not even thought of, not even dreamt of. Like connecting my experience of Switzerland, with that of souvenirs of cowbells. How do I know this? I have been in customer experience for the last 18 and a half years, and with marketing and research for over a decade, over 12 years, I've been connecting with customers, partners, consultants, even defining those blueprints and models myself. These are my views and my views only. I know this, marketing AI and empowering yet a manipulative friend. But here is my true friend and my wife, Swati. We could see the results of honeymoon vacations in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> we are the proud parents of Nilan and Adavan. But imagine Swati's daily schedule. The moms over here and around the world can relate to this much better. 
on a very busy day, Swati even makes the Almighty God looks like he is on vacation. <laughs> In spite of the tsunami of her schedules and choices, not long before, she was in an urgent need of a pair of running shoes. She came to me and said, Ram, I need a pair of running shoes. I gave the most correct answer a husband can give. Of course, darling. <laughs> <laughs> but look who overheard the conversation. Our friend Alexa. Alexa was even faster than Ram in this situation. <laughs> Within two hours, Swati received an Instagram ad for the latest running shoes. But this isn't just any ad. It featured her favorite sports celebrity, Serena Williams, along with the personalized messages, cushioning technologies tailored for young mothers. The word tailored for young mothers created a boom in her head and a bam in her heart. Here, marketing AI is Swati's empowering friend. But what she didn't realize is, marketing AI also created this illusion of a bubble in which this is the only choice, this is the only shoe she can ever have in the entire world, whereas the other choices and shoe might suit her needs much better with much better price deals. Here, marketing AI is a manipulative friend, but a very convincing one. My beautiful wife Swati eventually bought the same shoes and felt victorious, but the question is, did Swati protect her own choice? It's not just Swati. The top 500 products you love, desire, use every single day of your life is produced, manufactured, and marketed by just 12 companies. The marketing AI is listening to every conversations and decisions you're making in your life. The big question is, how do I protect my own choice? Before we get there, I asked our lovely TEDx organizers to place a jar of Nutella under each one of your seats without you even noticing it. You might even find it. Wait, I was just playing a trick on you. <laughs> Imagine a person standing on the stage and can deceive you that easily. What can marketing AI do to your 35,000 choices? In order to protect your own choice, I even created my own acronym RACE, R-A-C-E. Read that privacy instructions. If me and Swati would have read the Instagram's privacy settings, or we would have made Alexa on the privacy mode, we would have not received that ad in the first place. Alexa would have not listened to us. Before you configure any, any gadget, before you use any gadget, make sure that you are checking that privacy settings. Be attentive to the data. I love Switzerland. Swati loves Serena Williams. We are the proud parents of Adavan and Nilan. These are the data I'm pushing to the external world. But... This is done by my own choice and my own wish. The data you push to the external world should be of your own choice and your own wish. Before you fill that marketing subscription form, do not give more than the data which is absolutely necessary to avoid a lot of marketing. Be conscious of your choices. Six months ago, I went to my father and said, Papa, do you like this iPad? He gave me an answer, which I still remember to this day. He said, Ram, I like this iPad, but I don't need it. Before you click on that Black Friday deal, <laughs> before you click on that offer, before you buy that product, have that father's wisdom and ask this important question, do I really need it? And lastly, not many people talk about protect your email inbox. Your email inbox is like gold. How do I protect my email inbox? Hmm. How many of you have been on bad first date? Bad second date? 
bad multiple dates. Some marketing subscriptions are those bad dates. Avoid clicking on that subscribe button to everything and prevent 90% of the junk entering into your email inbox. Be, read the privacy instructions. Be attentive to the data. Be conscious to the choices and protect your email inbox. Race. Ram, I do all this, but what's the benefit of it all? First, you will get your time back because that's an important commodity because you are unchaining yourself from all the bad marketing messages. Two, you will get the peace of mind that you made the right choices and decision for yourself. As far as the question goes, marketing AI, will you trust that friend? A huge shout out to European Union for EU AI Act and also a lot of great companies and marketing agencies trying to make marketing AI more transparent and trustworthy. But like any friend of yours, marketing AI is extremely empowering, beneficial, and helpful. But at the same time, you can't deny the fact marketing AI is also deceptive and manipulative. But the power to protect your own choice is still in your own hands. Hence, the story of marketing AI should never remain untold. It has to be retold many times over and over again to create that awareness. Next time, when you walk into the supermarket and you see a jar like this, think about whether it is empowering me or manipulating me and point to this and say to yourself, today I will protect my own choice. <laughs> <laughs> <Will> you? <laughs>